Hey everyone, it's Sanya with Two Bright Saves and I'm at Walgreens. I'm bringing to you guys two different deals that you can do this week. One is a more beginner deal and you're going to be doing three different transactions. If you want to skip around during the video, I will have time codes in the description and a link to a printable breakdown. I just finished my intro and I noticed that Con Air items for your hair are buy one get one free. The cheapest thing I could find were these bobby pins. They're $2.99. You'll buy one get one free. So that's going to make it $1.49 for each one. If you want to see more BOGO deals and several other deals that are going on at Walgreens this week, I will have a video linked in the iCards and also at the end of the video that shows all the deals that are going on at Walgreens. So if there's something that you want that I didn't include in one of the scenarios, you can definitely use that video to get items that you may need for your family. Walgreens no longer has the weekly ads, but the deal that we are going to be doing is this spend 20, get 10 times the everyday points, which means we are going to be able to get 100 points for every $1 that we spend. So. We don't want to use the paper version. We want to use the digital version so that it could stack with a paper booster like this. I found this as I was entering Walgreens. So if you ever find these, pick them up because you can use them and they are not attached to any specific account. So since I have to spend 20 for this, it'll be great to combine it with this booster so I can get an extra 5,000 points. For the beginner scenario, we are going to be using all digital coupons, so make sure you have all these digitals right here loaded to your app before you go to check out. The first transaction that we're going to do is on these Revlon, so they are $4.99 in store, but online they are $3.69. They're also buy one, get one 50% off. And when you buy two, you're gonna get a $4 register reward. So we are gonna get a price match for this item for $369. So the way how you do that is you pull up the Revlon Kiss Balm on your phone, you show it, ask to speak with the manager, then you show it to the manager and they should price match it for you. Not all stores are price matching, but they're supposed to be price matching. So if you can find a store that's price matching, then definitely make sure you do this deal there. If you cannot get the price match, your out of pocket will be a little bit higher, but it's still a good deal to do for the first transaction. These are the two items for the first transaction. So one of these Revlon Kiss Bombs is gonna ring up for $3.69. The other is gonna be $1.84, and that's of course because of the price match. So the total for both of them is gonna be $5.53. If you have points, you can use 5,000 points to lower your out-of-pocket. If you are brand new and you don't have any points, you're going to pay $5.53 out-of-pocket, but at the end of the transaction, you are going to get a $4 register reward. Once you get the $4 register reward, you will be able to use that on the second transaction. So you want to show the manager the item on the phone. You can see right there. And give them your items to scan and then you're going to enter your number or if you have a card you can give it to them to scan i'm just going to enter my number i just finished a checkout and everything went perfectly of course the only problem i had was that the machine did not ring up for buy one get one 50 percent off but it's supposed to even if you're doing a price match so you can see the price is 369 and the 50 percent off was a dollar 85 so my total was 554 plus tax if you have points, you can go ahead and use them like I did. But if you don't have any points, you're going to pay the $5.54 out of pocket. And as you can see for me, I had $0.54 cents plus tax out of pocket, which was $0.93. Cents. And then at the end of the transaction, I got a $4 register reward. If this register reward does not print, call a manager if they're not already working with you for the price match and let them know that a $4 register reward is supposed to print. Bring up the deal on your phone and show it to them and they should give you points for this register reward not printing. Then what you will do, because you, you're supposed to get this register reward and you're having trouble getting it to print in store, you can submit your receipt to support.catalina.com and they will send you this register reward in the mail within four to five business days.
for the second beginner scenario, we are going to be doing the 10 times everyday points when you spend $20. Make sure you have that clipped digitally because we're going to combine that with this spend 20 get 5,000 points booster. If you do not have this spend 25,000 booster, it's okay. You just won't be able to get the extra 5,000 points. But it's also okay because I'm not going to include that in the last transaction where we use those points to get other items. We're also going to use this $4 register reward from transaction number one to lower our out of pocket. The first items that we are going to pick up are three of these Oral-B toothbrushes for $3.99. Two of them are going to ring up for $7.98. And the third one is going to be free because when you buy two, you get the third for free for this entire month on oral care. We have a $7 off of three digital coupon that will apply to this. Because Oral-B is a P&G product, once you're finished with this transaction, you can submit your receipt to PG Good Every Day and you're going to get 50 points for each of the toothbrushes that you submit and then you can use those points to get gift cards once you reach 750 points. The link to sign up for PG Good Every Day will be in the description. Next, you want to pick up three of these Kids Birth Bees toothpaste. They are $2.99. Two of them is going to ring up for $5.98 and the third one is going to be free. And we have a $5 off three digital coupon. The next item that you're going to pick up is one of the all detergents. They are $2.99 and there's a $1 digital. There's supposed to be an Ibotta rebate for this, but it is not matching this item. Even though it shows in the picture and it says any all product, it's not scanning at all. So... After we purchase this, we can still submit it to Ibotta, but we can probably write a message to them letting them know that it's not working, and they should credit you the $1 back on Ibotta. Ibotta is a rebate app where you can submit your receipt to receive money back on certain items that are on the app, like the all. It's giving a dollar back. So once you reach a certain amount, like $20, you will be able to cash out. If you are brand new to Ibotta, you can use this code right here on the screen to sign up and get a welcome bonus. And you'll also get to be a part of my Ibotta team. The last item that we are going to pick up is one of the Tide detergents. They are $4.99 and we have a $2 digital coupon. These are all of the items for the second transaction. The first thing you want to do is to give the cashier your spend 20 get 5,000 points booster if you have it. And the total for all of these items is $21.94. We have $15 worth of coupons. Once that is deducted, your balance is going to be $6.94. But remember, we got the $4 register reward from the first transaction. So we are going to apply this register reward to this transaction, and it's going to take $4 off. So you're going to end up paying $2.94 for all of these items. Because this is an all digital scenario, and we're using this $4 register reward, there is a possibility that one of your digital coupons may not come off. So you will need to watch the screen very carefully to make sure all your coupons are applied. So you're supposed to have a $7 coupon for this, a $5 coupon for this, a $4 coupon for this, and a $1 coupon for this. That's $15. Now, usually when you're doing a deal where you have to use a register reward you need a filler item so a filler item is just a cheap item that you add to your cart for the register reward to attach to so because we have all of these items for the oral care our seven dollar coupon will apply to one of these toothbrushes and these two are free for us to add any register rewards the five dollar off three coupon will apply to one of these and we have two extra items for a register reward to attach to so we literally could pick any one of those items. Let's just pick this toothbrush for that $4 register reward to attach to. And these already have their own coupons. So we should not have any issues at checkout. So what you want to do before you hand over this register reward is to wait till the machine says digital coupons received. And once it says that, then hand over this register reward and hopefully all your coupons will apply and the register reward will apply and you won't have any issues. 
But if your coupons don't come off, like one of your digitals, you can still move forward with the transaction and then you can contact Walgreens using the phone number or you can use the chat and they will give you points back for that missed coupon. Once we finish the transaction, we're going to get 5,000 points for this booster and we're going to get 2,000 points for the 10 times every day when you spend $20. So if you don't have the booster, you're going to get about 2,000 points back. But if you do have the booster, you're going to get back 2,000 points for the 10 times every day and 5,000 points for the spend 20. So that's going to be 7,000 points that you are going to get back. Then, of course, you want to submit your receipt to PG Good Every Day to get points back. And we are going to submit a request to Ibotta to get the $1 back for the all detergent. You can see right here that it says digital coupons received. So once you see that, then you can hand over your registry reward. I just finished that checkout and everything did not go exactly as planned for this bigger beginner scenario. So hopefully you can see what happened for me and you can adjust it so that you don't have the same problem at checkout. So the biggest issue was that some of my coupons did not come off. So I'll, let me let you know as we go through the receipt what you can do to make sure this does not happen to you. So you can see that the Oral-B rang up like it was supposed to, the Burt's Bees rang up like it was supposed to. The Tide has to be modified because at this particular store, none of the sale prices are actually showing up so she had to price modify that so here's where the problem happened so first the spend 20 applied without any problems and I had a two dollar Oral-B coupon that attached and came off it attached to one of the Oral-B toothbrushes the all detergent came off the four dollar manufactured coupon that you see is a four dollar register reward then I had a five dollar e-coupon that's for the toothpaste and then I had a $3 coupon. I'm not sure what that coupon is for. I'm going to have to check the app. But it was supposed to be a $2 Tide coupon and a $7 off of two for the Oral-B toothbrushes. But because that $2 attached to it, the $7 did not come off. So what you will need to do is make sure you do not have that $2 Oral-B coupon clipped. And also make sure you don't have the $3 off two oral care coupon clipped if you have any of those clipped it will it's going to attach to one of the toothbrushes or multiple of them and the seven dollar coupon will not come off we want that seven dollar coupon to come off because it's going to lower our out of pocket so because i had issues with the seven dollar coupon coming off my subtotal ended up being 694 plus tax it was actually supposed to be a lot lower so because those coupons didn't work, the $7 coupon, I will have to contact Walgreens and let them know and they will give me 7,000 points for that missed coupon that did not come off. At the end of the transaction, you can see that I got 210 everyday points. So remember, we're getting 10 times the everyday points. So because we're getting 10 times the everyday, we got 2,100 points for the 10 times every day when we add that to the 689 so that's 210 plus 689 that's going to give us a total of 7100 points that we got back for doing this transaction we are going to use 2000 of those points or whatever amount of points you have to lower our out of pocket for the third transaction for transaction number three you can get whatever you'd like I will have a video in the iCards and also at the end of the video that you can watch that shows all the deals that are going on at Walgreens this week that are all digital. So there are big pens that are 99 cents. There's um, Kellogg's cereals that are $1.49 and there are other BOGO deals like pasta that are buy one get one free this week and there's also some deals on soda so if any of those are things that you want to do watch that video and then you can add that in to your last transaction i want to do the cottonelle deal because i want some toilet paper for my stockpile so you can see they are 5.99 and if you want to do the viva you can do that as well check your store to see what is available so it's $5.99 there's a one dollar digital once that's deducted it's going to be $4.99 for the balance I'm going to use the 2,000 points that we got from the second transaction, which is going to lower the out-of-pocket to just $2.99. If you have more than 2,000 points, use it to lower your out-of-pocket even more. 
If your store does not have the Cottonelle toilet paper or the Viva paper towels, you can get the Cottonelle flushable wipes. This is the 84 count. They are $4.99 regular price. They're not on sale. And we have a $1 digital coupon. So you're going to buy one for $4.99 and then you're going to use this 25% off coupon that I'm going to have linked in the description below. So you'll go to the link, print this out, show it to the cashier. They'll scan it. More than likely, they're going to keep it. And you're going to get $1.24 off of these flushable wipes. So your balance is going to be $3.74. You're going to say to the cashier that you want to use 2,000 points. Once you use those 2,000 points, your total is going to be $1.74 plus tax that you have to pay for these wipes. Cottonelle and Viva is on Fetch Rewards. So make sure you submit your receipt to Fetch so that you can get points back for the Cottonelle. Fetch Rewards is a rebate app where you can get points back for the items that are on the Fetch Rewards app. Once you get a certain amount of points, you'll be able to submit for gift cards. If you are brand new to Fetch, you can use this code right here to sign up and you'll get your first 2,000 points towards your first gift card. I just finished transaction number three and everything went perfectly. So you can see it rang up for $5.99. A dollar came off. It was four ninety nine plus tax. I ended up with five forty one. I used five thousand points to pay, and I ended up paying forty one cents for this. And I'm gonna submit my receipt to Fetch Rewards so that I can get points back for the Cottonelle. These are all of the items for the beginner scenario. For transaction number one, the out of pocket was five dollars and fifty three cents. For transaction number two, the out of pocket was six dollars and ninety four cents, but it was supposed to be. $2.94. So make sure you remove all your additional coupons except for the $7 and the $5 oral care coupons and you shouldn't have any problems when you check out. For the last transaction, the out-of-pocket was $2.99. So the total for all of these items is $15.46 for 11 items or $1.40 each. If you can get your coupons to work properly, your out-of-pocket is going to be a lot lower than mine's and it'll be a much better deal for you. I will be contacting Walgreens to get the 7,000 points. So once I get those 7,000 points back, my final total is actually going to be only $8.46 for all of these items. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully these scenarios are able to help you with your transactions this week. If you have questions about anything, you can just leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible.